Before we actually look at the student submission and how you mark the assignment that has a rubric attached, we're just going to look at the assignment and the rubric itself. We are currently logged into Blackboard with a tutor account with instructor privileges. So we're going to go to the assessment area and we're going to find the assignment which is here. So it's called test assignment. Now we're going to edit it just so we can look to see what is here. So using the menu option we're going to find edit and look at the actual settings for this assignment. Now if we scroll down to the third section which is called grading we've gotten a, a rubric already attached but you can select the rubric from the rubrics that you've got loaded to your profile. Uh, you can create one from here or you can create from an existing which means that you can um, use an existing rubric as a basis for a new one but we've got one loaded here and with these buttons here you can view rubric or you can edit rubric so in this instance we're just going to review it bring it down into the window and open it up a bit so you can see we've got the criteria for the marking scheme and we've got level of achievement so below proficient or exemplary uh, zero one or two points they don't rubrics don't have to have points but this one does I'll go into more rubrics later on so we can close this down so this is the assignment has as it's set up for the students. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to log off and then log back in with a student account so that we can view how the student will submit the assignment and how they will view the rubric. So we're now back in to Blackboard as a student. We'll find the course that this assignment is due in on and in the assessment area we will see again we have the test assignment. Clicking the title will take you through as a student to the, to the submission area. Now it says here we've got points possible, 10, and the student can actually view the rubric that they're going to be marked against. So we've got the criteria and we've got the levels of achievement, so below expectations, proficient or exemplary and they can see that they get zero marks, one or two there's the weighting based on these marks as well so they, can, they know what they have to do to get full marks looking at the rubric so for the student to submit their assignment browse to their computer find the file or files that they want to upload to this assignment and click submit and they get the green status bar saying the assignment is complete and they can also then see which file they submitted for this assignment they click OK to finish it and as a student when they're finished they can just click log out so what we'll do we've logged out we'll now log back in as the instructor so we can see how the instructor will mark and give feedback to this assignment. So we log back into Blackboard as an instructor so again we'll find the course with the assignment that needs to be marked. In this instance we don't go to the assessment area we go to the grade centre and the full grade centre in this instance and then we will find the piece of mark that needs to be worked. It's highlighted by the green aster um, asterisk and then on the options menu we can see when the attempt was made on the date so we'll click that and then we'll get access to this student's piece of work. So here we are and we've got the file that was submitted by the student so we can click that, open that and have that on the screen when we mark and to mark with the rubric we've got the third section here which is grade current attempt and we've got the button for view rubric so we'll click that that will now open the rubric manager for this submission and we can see that we've now got the options to put an, a selection in for each criteria so reasoning analysis I'll just say it was one point proficient and if we want to we can now give feedback to the student on this particular criteria here. If you want to open that up a bit you can do, if you want to write more it will stretch to fit and you can do that for each criteria. You don't have to put writing in there if you don't want to
but if you feel there's something that deserves a comment or some feedback then you have the option of doing that. The rubric will calculate the score for you in this instance it's 10 it's out of 10 so 7 out of 10 or 70 percent if you wanted to change that you can do just by overwriting it in there you also have the general comment box at the bottom where you can put again as much in there as you feel is necessary all of this is shown back to the student when they come to view it so we'll save this assignment save the rubric and then we'll click submit so that is all the instructor needs to do with regards to inputting the feedback and the comment and the marks for the student we'll now log out of blackboard and log back into blackboard using the student account so we can see how this appears for the student So here we are logged in as the student and again we'll go to the test course and we'll go back to the assignment submission area because that's how we're going to see the feedback in this instance. So we can see we've got a grade and now we'll view rubric and this is how the student will see the feedback that they've got. So you can see the score given according to the criteria and they've got the feedback that you've given to the student as well and at the bottom we've got the general comment box and whatever you added there.